Okay, in this video, we're gonna learn how to balance redox reactions in basic solutions or under basic conditions. The easiest way to do this is using the half equation method, and I've listed out the steps of the half equation method here. So you just kind of follow it like a cookbook recipe, and you always end up with the right answer. So I've got an example redox reaction up here. Silver plus zinc goes to silver oxide plus zinc, and I split it up into its half reactions so that I can use the half equation method. So to find the half reactions, I found the reaction and products that share the same element. So silver, silver, zinc, zinc. So I got my half reactions that way. So clearly none of this is balanced. So that's why we're using the half equation method to balance it. So step one, we balance all the elements other than oxygen and hydrogen. So the element other than oxygen in this first equation is silver. There's one silver over here and two silvers over here. Thus, I need to put a two here to balance this out. So now this is balanced. In this, uh, in this equation, I have one zinc and one zinc, so there's no balancing necessary there, so I just keep it the same. So I've finished step one here. You can see the only change I made was with that red line uh, under the two. Okay, step two, we balance oxygen by adding water to the opposite side. So now we have to balance oxygen. So let's look at our equations. Is oxygen balanced in the first equation? Well, we have no oxygens on this reactant side, but one oxygen on the product side over here. So I need to add an oxygen to the reactant side. So I'm gonna do that by adding one water molecule. You see, I added water to the opposite side to balance this oxygen. One oxygen with one oxygen. In the zinc equation, we actually don't have any oxygens to balance. So this uh, step is actually unnecessary for the second equation. So it saves us, us some work there. Okay, step three, we balance hydrogen by adding hydrogen ions to the opposite side. So you can see in this equation here, what I've done is I've added two hydrogens over here because I had two hydrogens over here from the water that I needed to balance out. So you see back in step two, we had two hydrogens here, but none over here. That's why you add in the two hydrogen ions on the product side to balance these two hydrogens out. And again, we don't have any hydrogens that are necessary to balance in this second equation. So again, it's very easy for the zinc equation. We don't need to make any modifications. Okay, step four, we balance the charge by adding electrons. So in order to do this, you need to look at the overall charge on the reactant side and the product side. The overall charge on the reactant side and the product side. So for the reactant side here, the overall charge is zero, right? It's neutral, there are no charged molecules here. But over here, we have a plus two charge, right? So that means in order to balance this, I'm actually gonna have to add two electrons on this side to neutralize this two plus charge so that it matches the neutral or zero charge in my reactant side. In this second equation, I've got a plus two charge on the reactant side and a zero charge over here. So in order to neutralize this plus two charge to make it neutral like the products, I'm gonna add two electrons to the reactant side here. So step four is done. Step five, we multiply each half reaction by the appropriate factor to balance the electrons. So in this case, step five is actually unnecessary. You can see I've skipped it. I've gone straight to step six. And that is because two matches with two. There is no need to multiply either equation by a number to balance out the electrons. Uh, let, me t let me give you an example where you may need to do this. Let's imagine that instead of being two, this was four. Then you would have to balance out this two with a four by multiplying this equation all by two to make it four and four. But in this case, again, it's unnecessary. Okay, step six. Now, since we're in a basic solution, we're gonna add hydroxide ions to neutralize the hydrogen ions. And this ends up making water, H2O. You can see we've got two H's and one O, so it makes H2O. So in step four, where do we have hydrogen ions to neutralize? Right here, right? So in step six, what we'll do is we'll add two OHs to, this, to these two hydrogen ions to neutralize them. And whatever we add to the product side, we have to add to the reactant side. So I added it here and here. And again, this neutralizes to make two waters and I'll retain this two OH here on my reactant side. And again, we don't have any H pluses to neutralize 
in this reaction here, in the zinc reaction, so step six is unnecessary for the zinc reaction. Okay, finally in step seven, we add together our final half reactions, and then we cancel out common terms and electrons. So in step seven, I took this reaction here and put it here, and I took this reaction that we had here when it was finished and put it here, and I added them together. So I add together all of the reactants and all the products, and I get this giant resultant equation down here. And you can see I had one water over here that canceled out with one of the waters over here. So this two turned into a one water. Then I had two electrons over here cancel out with two electrons over here. And we always want our electrons to cancel out, so that's good. And actually nothing else canceled out. So then I just rewrote the equation after canceling out the, the one water and the two electrons, and I've boxed in in black the final balanced redox reaction. So I really hope this helped you guys out.